Cashew Production Technology Cashew is an important plantation crop which is cultivated extensively in coastal areas of India in Kerala, Maharashtra, Goa, Karnataka, Tamil Nadu, Andhra Pradesh, Odisha, West Bengal and to some extent in Chhattisgarh, Gujarat and northeastern hilly regions. The produce from cashew finds a multitude of uses. The cashew kernels are used as such or with value addition in confectionery and dessert. The cashew shell contains a high quality oil known as cashew nut shell liquid which has many industrial uses. The residues of cashew shell remaining after extraction of CNSL is used as fuel in the cashew processing units. Cashew apple can be eaten fresh or mixed in fruit salad or can be used in the preparation of many value added products such as squash, jam, jelly, cider, fenny, chutney, crisp etc. The seed coat is used as poultry feed. As on 2018-19 Cashew is cultivated in 11.05 lakh hectares with production of 7.43 lakh tons in India. So far, 40 high yielding varieties of cashew are available for cultivation in India. A glimpse of important varieties of cashew are given here. Site selection Cashew can be grown in wide variety of soil types. Well-drained, non-saline, neutral to acidic soils are suitable for cashew. In non-traditional areas, the soil site and climatic suitability for cashew should be ensured before its introduction. A broad idea about the suitability can be obtained by using the mobile app on Cashew Suitability Evaluator, which is available in Google Play Store. Areas with salinity, alkalinity and water logging are not suitable for cashew. Land Preparation For preparing the land, wild growth including forest cover and weeds should be cleared from the site selected for cashew cultivation. In hilly areas, terracing should be done to prevent runoff and soil erosion. Normal spacing for planting cashew is 7.5 meter by 7.5 meter. Under high density and ultra density planting, the spacing can be reduced to include more number of trees. In such situations, separate agrotechnics should be followed. Pits of 1 meter cube size should be dug at desired spacing across the slope. If there is hard pan in the subsurface of the soils, the dimension of the pits should be enlarged to 1.2 meter by 1.2 meter by 1.2 meter. Pits should be dug 15 to 20 days before planting and exposed to sun so as to get rid of soil borne pests, especially termites affecting roots. Later, the pits should be filled to 3 fourth level with a mixture of topsoil, 5 kg of compost, or 2 kg of poultry manure and 200 gram of rock phosphate. The pits should be provided with side drains to avoid water stagnation. Hedgerow system of planting with a spacing of 10 meter by 5 meter will be beneficial for growing intercrops in initial years of cultivation. The suitable intercrops in cashew during the early years of plantation establishment are ginger, turmeric, amorphophallus, pineapple, vegetables like cucumber, amaranthus, etc. Trailing crops such as pepper and vanilla can be grown as companion crop by trailing on the stem and branches of cashew trees of more than 6 years under normal density planting system. Separate agrotechnics, manuring and fertilizing application is to be followed for the intercrops. Planting of grafts Healthy grafts should be planted after carefully removing the polythene bag without disturbing the ball of earth. Soil at the center of the pit should be scooped out to plant the graft. 
Later, the soil should be pressed gently after placing the graph with a ball of earth intact into the scooped out pit. Care should be taken to see that the graph joint is at least 5 cm above the ground level. This clearance will help to locate and remove the sprouts on the rootstock below the graft joint. The remaining portion of the pit should be gradually filled up to the ground level within two years. Staking and mulching. After planting the grafts, a stake should be provided to the plant and the plant should be tied with the stake by using a loose knot. This prevents damage to the graft by wind. The soil around the plant should be mulched with dried leaves or green leaves for conservation of moisture. After care, training and pruning. The shoot growth below graft joint should be removed periodically. After the field establishment of grafts, the polythene strip tied at graft joint can be removed. The lower branches should be removed with cicatures so that a clear trunk up to a height of 75 cm to 1 m may be attained after 4 to 5 years of planting. This operation should be done gradually every year. This facilitates easy cultural operations, nut collection, monitoring of cashew stem and root borer incidents, etc. The old stakes should be removed and longer stakes should be provided during the second and third year of planting. Deblossoming should be carried out during the first two years after planting. First fruiting should be for allowed in the third year after planting. After four to five years, the main branch growing vertically should be cut at the height of 3.5 meter to 4 meter. Regular weeding operation is needed to keep the plantations weed free and to facilitate pesticide spraying and nut picking operations. Mechanical weeding can be resorted to save time and resources. Manuring and fertilizer application For the adequate growth and development, fertilizer and manure application is essential from the first year onwards. An integrated approach combining the inorganic, organic fertilizers is beneficial for the sustainable production, improved soil fertility and income. For correcting soil acidity, liming is to be undertaken with lime, dolomite or other liming materials. Liming is recommended 2-3 to three months before planting in new plantations while in established plantations, it can be done once in 3 to 5 years. Application of 10 to 15 kg farmyard manure or compost per grown up tree is usually recommended. This can be applied in the circular trench along with the application of fertilizers. And it has to be undertaken with the onset of monsoon or in August September during the receding periods of monsoon. In the absence of farmyard manure, green manuring can be adopted as an alternative. Green manure crops such as Glyrosidia, Cispania and Sunhem can be grown along boundaries and in between two rows of cashew. The fertilizer recommendation for cashew varies with state. And for calculating the fertilizer dosage based on the field condition, a mobile app has been developed. This is available in Google Play Store by searching Cashew Nutrient Manager or this QR code can be scanned. For applying the fertilizers in the loamy soils and in low rainfall areas that is in east coast and interior region, the fertilizers should be applied in 50 cm circular strips at a distance of 0.5 meter, 0.7 meter, 1 meter and 1.5 meter away from the trunk during first, second, third and fourth year after planting. In laterite soils and soils of sloppy lands in heavy rainfall areas, that is in the west coast, the fertilizer can be applied in circular trenches of 25 centimeter width and 15 centimeter depth 
prepared at a distance of 0.5 meter, 0.7 meter, 1 meter and 1.5 meter away from the trunk during the first, second, third and fourth year of planting. Immediately after application, fertilizer should be raked into soil. Green leaves can be spread as mulch to enhance fertilizer use efficiency. Fertilizer application should be avoided during heavy monsoon and also when the soil moisture status is poor. Application of fertilizers, however, can be taken up during the second week of August during receding period of monsoon. Under normal density planting, during first, second, third, fourth and fifth year of planting, 1 by 5, 2 by 5, 3 by 5, 4 fifth and full quantity of recommended dose is to be applied. Under high density planting and ultra density planting, during first, second and third year of planting, one third, two third and full quantity of recommended dose is to be applied. Based on field conditions and soil test reports, the nutrient application needs to be modified. Soil and water conservation measures. In case of sloppy lands, terracing should be taken up around each plant within third year. Terraces should be of 1.8 meter to 2 meter radius with a catch pit 2 meter in length, 0.3 meter in width and 0.45 meter in depth on the upper side of the slope. The soil around the plant should be mulched with organic matter during rainy season to prevent soil erosion and also direct exposure to sunlight, thereby conserving soil moisture. Other soil conservation practices that can be adopted as per the feasibility are modified crescent bun, staggered trenches, catch pits, reverse terraces, coconut husk burial, etc. High Density and Ultra Density Planting System Through High Density Planting System, Vacant land in the early stage of orchard life can be profitably utilized by increasing plant population per unit area of land. High density planting of cashew is more suitable in less fertile area. The spacing normally recommended for high density planting are 4 meter by 4 meter, which accommodates 625 trees per hectare, 5 meter by 5 meter with 400 trees per hectare and 6 meter by 4 meter with 416 trees per hectare. The spacing under ultra density planting are 3 meter by 3 meter which accommodates 1111 trees per hectare and 2.5 meter by 2.5 meter with 1600 trees per hectare. By adopting such planting systems, the number of trees per unit area is increased thereby helping to increase the income in the early years of plantation establishment. It is important to note that only pruning responsive varieties are to be chosen for high density planting and ultra density planting. As the canopy grows over the years, the plantation needs to be managed by regular pruning to avoid overlapping of branches which will adversely affect the yield. Tea mosquito bug and cashew stem and root borers are the two major insect pests of cashew. Both adult and nymphs of tea mosquito bugs suck the sap from tender shoots, panicles and immature nuts and apples which results in formation of black necrotic lesions. Severely affected plantations will have a burnt appearance. In outbreak situations, timely spraying should be taken up to manage the pest. The younger plantations, 1 to 5 years, which produces flushes continuously, need to be protected by insecticidal interventions. Need based application should be taken up in these plantations by regular survey for the initial symptoms of pest incidence. Whenever the incidence of pest is noticed on 5 to 10 percent of the flushes, the first round of pesticidal spray should be given. The second round of the spray should be invariably completed within 3 to 4 weeks if the TMB population still persists. 
if panicle damage is severe that is greater than 50 percentage because of delayed insecticidal application further sprays will not result in improved yields the third spray can be a need based in case pest population persists even after the second spray lambda cyhalothrin 5 ec that is 0.003 percentage that is 0.6 ml per liter or acetamiprid 20 sp 0.5 g per liter or thiamethoxam 25 wg 0.2 g per liter are found effective in managing t mosquito bug the same pesticide should not be repeated for the next spray to avoid build up of pesticide resistance Spraying should be taken up only during cool hours of the day up to 10 a.m. and after 4 p.m. Spray against the wind direction should not be done. Empty chemical containers should be destroyed and buried in the soil. Care should be taken while spraying trees near drinking water sources. Management of cashew stem and root borer The cashew stem and root borer infest the stem and root region especially the vital bark portion of yielding cashew trees and lead to gradual death of such infested cashew trees if timely management practices are not adopted. Adult female CSRB beetles lay eggs in the bark crevices near the cola region or on the exposed roots. After hatching, the young grubs tunnel immediately into the bark. Extensive feeding by the grubs hamper the translocation of the nutrients leading to drying of leaves and twigs. In the infested portion the gum and frass start oozing out from the tree which is the initial symptom of pest attack for taking up curative measures. Under severe infestation the trees turn yellow and dies. Older cashew trees existing in or nearby the neglected orchards are more prone to infestation by CSRB. However, young plants are also infested by the pest. The infested portion should be carefully chiseled out to locate the CSRB grubs which should then be removed and killed. In case white powdery fibers are seen, A pliable wire should be inserted deep into the pupation hole to kill the grub or pupa. Later, chlorpyrifos 20 EC 10 ml per liter or fipronil 5 EC 2 ml per liter solution should be swabbed or sprayed over the chisel portion. Trees having more than 50% of the bark circumference damaged or with yellowing of the canopy do not recover hence they should be disposed of immediately to prevent build up of pest inoculum as the pest incidence occurs during the period of nut collection that is february to may the infested trees can be marked suitably for subsequent treatment regular adoption of phytosanitation by removal of dead csrb infested trees and those beyond recovery is essential to reduce the pest inoculum continuous pest management reduces the number of freshly infested trees and also the number of csrb grubs per infested tree minor pests of cashew the important minor pests of cashew are leaf miner which mines below the epidermis of tender leaves and reduces phytosynthesis leaf beetles which are endemic and serious defoliators during the early monsoon period apple and nut borers which tunnel in the join of the apple and nut and cause premature fruit and nut drop leaf and blossom weber which damages the panicles shoot tip caterpillar which damages the tender shoots reducing the panicles per unit area as well as leaf and flower thrips which cause flower drying and outward curling of the leaves These minor pests generally get reduced with the sprays taken up for TMB management. To facilitate the identification of different pests of cashew and its management, a mobile app has been developed by ICRDCR Puttur. This app can be downloaded from Google Play Store or by scanning the QR code displayed here. Harvesting. The fallen nuts can be collected from below the tree. The nuts after separating from the fruits should be sun dried for 2 to 3 days 
and stored in gunny bags at a height of at least 4 inch from the ground level. For latest information on various aspects of cashew production and management, please download the mobile app on Cashew India which is available on Google Play Store. Or you can download it by scanning the QR code given here.